Hold on. Red leather, yellow leather. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Hi, my name is Matthew Marcoux from Pure Witness Ministries, and as you probably have heard, Pope Francis has proclaimed a year of St. Joseph from December 8th this year to December 8th, 2021 on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Now, the timing of this year of St. Joseph could not be better for most of us living through the many ongoing challenges of COVID-19. And 2020 seems to be a year that has turned many lives upside down, and St. Joseph was no stranger to life being just turned upside down. But as Pope Francis states in his apostolic letter, Patris Corde, which means with a father's heart, St. Joseph's patience, silence was the prelude to the concrete expression of trust in God. Now, when the angel of the Lord appeared to St. Joseph in a dream, instructing him to take Mary as his wife, Joseph woke up from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. And after the wise men left the holy family, an angel of the Lord again appeared to St. Joseph in a dream, instructing him to flee to Egypt because King Herod was seeking to kill the prophesied Messiah. And so Joseph did once again as he had been instructed. And again, after Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, instructing him to return. And so following the directions of the angel, the fa their family went to live in Nazareth. And we often now, we often joke that St. Joseph was a strong, silent type because we never hear him speak in the scriptures. But what we do hear is that he is docile to the Lord and that when an angel of the Lord instructs him, he does what he is told. And through his patient silence, as Pope Francis put it, through times of trials and persecutions, he's able to protect and lead his family to safety. Now, I feel like many people have and are still experiencing trials in their lives at this time. And now in many ways, we feel the persecutions of limitations on our ability to worship, um, to gather as community and families, and especially at this time of year when we are preparing to celebrate the birth of our Lord, the, the mystery of the incarnation, Emmanuel, God is with us. Now, having St. Joseph on our side proclaimed by Pope Francis to be in a special way our model, guide, and protector through the coming year seems like a pretty timely gift for all Christians. Now, if the Lord entrusted himself and his blessed mother to the care and protection of St. Joseph, I think we can do the same for ourselves and, and our loved ones. Now, sometimes our lives seem out of control, but in pointing us to St. Joseph at this time, Pope Francis is reminding us that God is in control. And like St. Joseph, we need to trust in whatever the Lord is doing in our lives. Now, God can make good come out even the hardest trials of our lives. Now, trusting in God when life feels out of control is, is challenging and maybe even feels impossible to some of us. But as we lean in on St. Joseph and call on his intercession in our lives, he will help us. And as St. Teresa of Avila, the great mystic, once said, I do not remember that I ever asked St. Joseph at any time for anything which he did not attain for me. St. Joseph is powerful in his intercession before God. Like, just listen to this list of some of the titles the church gives to this great saint. <laughs> Diligent protector of Christ, head of the Holy Family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most strong, Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, mirror of patience, lover of poverty, model of workers, glory of home life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, and one of my personal favorites, terror of demons, and finally, protector of holy church.
St. Joseph covers it all. And is there any need we cannot bring to him? Any trial, any fear, any burden? I don't think so. And I know in my own life, St. Joseph has been a stronghold for me personally. And I consider myself very blessed to have been nurtured in devotion to St. Joseph um, through the, our Catholic faith. And it speaks to me of the legacy of faith that has been passed down to us through the many generations of faith that have gone before us. Um, and a few years, a few years ago, uh, my grandma was dying of cancer. And it was so inspiring the way she embraced her death. And she gave us many gifts at that time and, and lessons on how to die, which ultimately became lessons on how to live. Forgive everyone and seek forgiveness from others. Be patient and be merciful, be gentle and kind, be humble, and let go of the things that really don't matter. And hold close to family, to the sacraments, to the word of God, to Mother Mary, and to St. Joseph. Now, St. Joseph was her stronghold through all her sufferings. And one of the most beautiful gifts she gave to all of us at that time was a consecration prayer to St. Joseph. Now, she literally typed it out with her typewriter, photocopied it, cut it out on these little slips of paper, and gave them to everyone who came to visit her. And I'm not sure of the origins of this consecration prayer, but she knew it from her childhood. And as she approached death, she wanted to spread devotion to St. Joseph because she knew just how important an intercessor he is in our lives. And I'd like to share that prayer with you. It goes, Oh, my beloved St. Joseph, take charge of my salvation. Watch over me day and night. Preserve me from the occasion of sin Obtain for me a burning love for Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament, and a true tender love for Mary, my mother. St. Joseph, be with me in life, be with me in death, and obtain for me a favorable judgment from Jesus, my merciful Savior. Amen. As we approach the celebration of the birth of our Lord this year, let us contemplate um contemplate the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, knowing that God descended to earth in poverty, in loneliness, in danger of persecutions. Um, that should help us to remember that he is with us in our trials, in our sufferings, and in our fears, in our loneliness, and in our confusion. And into a world with all, the, all sorts of uncertainties, God has once again chosen St. Joseph to protect, to provide for, and to lead us in this upcoming year. And indeed, throughout our lives, just as he once protected, provided for, and led the Holy Family. May we all be rooted in the joy, peace, and love of the Holy Family, trusting in our Heavenly Father's love and care for his children here on earth. Wishing you and yours a blessed Christmas and a holy and happy new year under the loving care of St. Joseph. My name is Matthew Marcoux, and from all of us here at Pure Witness Ministries, Merry Christmas.